Hello guys and dolls, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a fashion haul or a clothing haul really. Um, this isn't going to be like properly laid out outfits because a lot of this is kind of like somewhat random things that don't necessarily go together. I mean they totally can, I'm not saying that these things can't. Um, but I'm just kind of going to be like, it's like a fashion haul where I'm just showing the things. It's a try on haul. Why am I making this difficult? You know what it is? I'm not used to the dog being here. It's like very odd. I'm like, what do I do with him? He's he's in he's in the background, he's doing things, he's looking at himself. I don't know what to do. If it's distracting to you, I apologize. And if it's not, maybe you think of it as like a fashion and like a cute dog video. Sure, whatever, that's the thing. In terms of this haul today, lots of really good stuff. I've got stuff from Forever 21, from Torrid, from um, Ishak tea, which is a new thing for me, um, and I'll kind of get a little bit into it, but let me know if you guys are interested in seeing like maybe a more in-depth video reviewing Ishak tea. When I get to it, you'll understand why. Um, but we'll just start with what I'm wearing right now. So this is a sweater from Torrid. Um, I really love the teal sweater that I got from Torrid last year. Um, it's a really big like oversized sweater. It's so comfy, so cozy. Love that thing. So I, this year I was like on the hunt for it. I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna happen. So this sweater is a little bit different from the one I got last year. The one I got last year is like really big and oversized and it's also in a size larger. That was a size 3X. Um, this is in a 2X, which this is an overall smaller style of sweater, but also it's just because I've lost some weight recently. So, um, and I'm, I'm not gonna like make some big spiel about it, but I've lost some weight. Therefore you have to buy clothes on a smaller size. It's not a big deal, we're moving on. It's interesting because this is like a more fitted sweater, plus it's in a smaller size. So at first I was like, I don't know, it looks kind of too small. And then I put it on and it fit really well. And I like the way that it looks. I like the rounded hemline. I think the rounded hemline on pretty much everything makes everything look more flattering. I've never seen a rounded hemline and thought, Mm, I don't think so. I think it's just one of those universally flattering things and I wish that more clothing had a rounded hemline, but that's just me. Um, you might feel very, very differently about that. Um, and then I actually like wearing sweaters like this that have like a more wide open neckline with my bra with the J-hook done in the back like this. You create like more of like a razorback style. The things that I'm wearing are also relatively new. I got these this year from a brand called, I think it's pronounced Lies. It's from Nordstrom. They are extremely high-end leggings, but they have this like amazing shaping ability to them and a very wide waistband, which is really good for creating a nice smooth silhouette. So I wanted to give these a quick shout out. Unfortunately, I think that these are now gone. When and if they do come back, they're definitely one that's worth the investment. That's another thing I kind of want to get some feedback from you guys. Do you want to see a video talking about and comparing high-end leggings? Because if you're just spending like $15, I mean, who cares if it doesn't like smooth you out or if they're cheap or if they break or whatever, like they're cheap. But when you're spending a little bit more money and you're investing in something, you want to know what's the difference between these brands. What, what can I expect from, you know, my $50 plus leggings? So let me know if you're interested in that. If you're not, don't worry about it, we'll do something else. Um, speaking of something else, let me show you my next outfit. Next thing that I'm sharing with you, I actually left the tag on. Now ladies, this is something I'm curious about. When you buy new stuff, do you leave the tag on until you wear it or do you cut it off immediately? I tend to leave the tag on for two reasons. Like, what if like a week later I decide I'm not really feeling it? Or like, I, I leave it on until I decide to wear it, to be clear. Like, I don't like keep the tags on or anything and like wear it out. But um, like, uh, sometimes I'll like hang on to something, especially like if I'm doing a fashion video or something with stuff. And so I'm like, I don't know if I'm really gonna like it or whatever. Um, and so I'll kind of like hold off on it and I'll keep the tag on. And then when I go to wear it, it's like this ceremony, like do, 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 do. These tank tops are from Tord. This is the Foxy Cami. And I've been interested in checking out the Foxy Cami before. I like it because it has adjustable straps, whereas the like really inexpensive tank tops that I usually get from Forever 21 don't have that option. Of course, the Forever 21 ones are like $6, whereas these are 18. You can get them on sale or you can buy them when there is a sale or something, which is what I did. Um, and I bought them in two different colors. I got this plum color that I'm holding and I've got, I think this is Merlot or I just wanted to try them out. I really like them. I like my camisoles to be very like body skimming because that way they're not interfering with anything I want to wear on top of it. So this is great to wear underneath the sweater I was just wearing. I wasn't wearing it underneath the sweater, um, but these are really great layering pieces and I love the adjustable straps. So I think that I will be getting some more of these foxy camis as they come out in different colors. I think that they're really great. They also have like an option with like some crisscross stuff and I don't know. 
next thing so this is the next top that I got from Tord, and I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this one I love the lace top like oh yes thank you mm, love it I love that it actually fits me in my shoulders whereas when I was buying clothes in a 3x um, a lot of times it would be too big for me in the shoulders so it's nice that it actually fits me here but it's still a little bit tight in my hip area is it noticeable is it bad am I imagining it let me know I'm not sure how I feel about this one Get a little closer so you can like really see how cute right okay guys so this next shirt I'm again I'm kind of on the fence about it I love the little saying on it I run on lipstick and sarcasm I mean that's pretty much me to a T but I, I'm kind of on the fence because it has a rolled hem or like it's an unfinished hem you know what I mean like it's finished but it's not like you know tucked over like a normal hem or I don't know I don't know sewing lingo guys sorry but it's got like a raw edge that was then sewed up so that it won't fray but in my experience, a lot of shirts that are like this tend to like roll up and I really hate it when it does that. One thing I do like, it has a slightly rounded hemline and it's a little bit longer in the back, which I guess if like you're wearing leggings or something like, oh, these are jagging leggings, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, it kind of hides the butt area a little bit. So on the fence about this, I'll probably keep it. The lettering here is like a seed bead kind of thing. I wonder how this will last through washings and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. So this next item is one of those things where, oh, I didn't button it up all the way. Hold on. This next item is one of those things where I rented it from Gwenny B. And when it first came in, I was like, that dress is so nope on a rope. <laughs> you know, that is like, if you have a Gwenny B membership, you know what I mean. Like there's certain things that come in where you're like instantaneously like, uh-uh. Um, but try those things on because you might end up finding something you really love because things look so different just hanging there versus what they look like on you especially if you can add something like a belt so this dress is a melissa mccarthy and based on the reviews online everyone feels that this dress runs large and i totally agree it is like without the belt on it is enormous i will show you guys some footage here of me spinning in this huge dress it's big but what i like about it is that it's i think it's called like a bonded plaid so the print on the inside is completely different, but it's not actually double thick, which is so nice. Well, it's like thicker than its weave would suggest, but it's not like super thick, heavy flannel. So it's nice because it's, it keeps you warm without being like overly hot. I love this dress as both like a cute casual dress to go out in the world with, but also as like a kicking it around the house jammy type dress. So I love this dress because it does do double duty for me. It has these great pockets. I mean, I really, really love this. This is one of those things that if I had seen this in the store, I would have never in a million years actually tried it on. I would have just seen it on the rack and been like, ugly. Uh, <laughs> you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean? And then I actually tried it on and I was like, oh my God, I love that dress. So that's that's why I love Gwenny B. No, this, seriously though, like that's one of the things I love about Gwenny B is that it gives me an opportunity to try things that I wouldn't necessarily try. So this next item is kind of like the other where, again, if I had seen this in store somewhere, I would have walked straight past this like, ugly and again when this came in with my uh gwenny b box i was kind of disappointed because i thought that this was a sweater online i didn't understand that it's a top it has this cool like crinkle fabric though that's really fun to touch um and again a lot of people associate this kind of fabric with like grandma stuff and you might totally disagree with me you might be looking at this and being like that shirt's ugly why does she like that I just do. I love the way it feels. It's a little bit loose on me. It's a little bit comfy. It's just loungy. It's just like a fun, like easy top. And I like the open neckline. It's just something I don't really have to worry about, like being self-conscious about myself in this. Um, and I do think that the ombre overall look to it is actually quite flattering and, and, and figure flattering. And I just like it. It's one of those items that I was, again, surprised that I liked. Um, and the biggest thing for me is that it's like $53 to buy this from Gwenny B and I don't want to give it back. So <laughs> it's like one of those like rentals that I'm holding on to. I'm like waiting for a sale, waiting for a sale. Oh my God, I'm waiting for a sale. So for those of you who don't know about Gwenny B, I'll just briefly explain it just so that people who don't know, know. Um, it's a clothing rental subscription service for sizes 10 through 32. So basically you rent clothes, like I'm renting this right now, but this one, this dress that I, <laughs> see how big this dress is? Um, this dress I actually purchased, so I rented it, I loved it, and I actually already bought it because I was like, I'm not sending it back. Um, so that's a great option that you have with Gwenny B. Anyway, now you know, let me move on to some other stuff. So these 
these leggings are from Torrid. They are a velvet legging. I'm kind of obsessed with velvet right now, BT dubs. And there's a ton of it out there right now. And there's a lot of, there's like a huge difference really in quality of velvet. There's like that cheap, yucky, velour feeling velvet that I'm not feeling. And then there's velvet like this, which is like soft to pet and feels really awesome. And is very comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel weird to walk in or anything like that. I love these, Torrid. I'm, I'm gonna get down. I'm on my hands and knees begging you, Torrid. Please come out with these velvet leggings in like a midnight navy blue, a green, a merlot, like a purple. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, see, he's begging you too. Oh my God, too cute. Rocco really wants to eat this, so I have to break this relatively brief. Okay, so. Um, this is from Forever 21. This is a faux fur stole. It gives you that same like luxurious feel, um, but it's cruelty free. So that's, that's basically the goal, right? So what I like is that this one has like a velourish back and then it has this beautiful fluffy, like fox-like looking fur um, in this gorgeous green shade. Now, this is kind of like matchy-matchy with my hair, I'm not gonna lie, but it's sort of like creating an aesthetic. It's like, oh yes, I'm the lady in green. That's how I see it in my head anyway. <laughs> um, I really, really love this. And the best part is it was like 15, 16 bucks, something like that. And there's a lot of really great faux fur items also on Etsy right now, but they are a lot more expensive than this. So I felt like this was definitely a steal. Wanted to let you guys know this is a thing. It goes great with like any, any outfit pretty much. It just kind of jazzes it up a little bit. Wore it the other day to the theater and I felt very fancy. And by the theater, I do of course mean um, I went and saw Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. <laughs> the theater. This next item is another Tord sweater. I really like this one. It's a ribbed style. It reminds me a lot of the sweaters that I had in the 90s. Again, I love the deep V. It's such a great silhouette for me. It just definitely, it kind of like calls attention to the breasts, but I'm not like overexposing the breasts. I'm a fan. Um, I love the color. I'm really into like the plums and the burgundies and the dark greens and all the, ooh, ah, uh, all the fall colors that just make me really happy. They're colors that I just genuinely love. So this time of year, I do tend to sort of like use it as an excuse to stock up on these items because they're not gonna be available in the spring. It's gonna be like baby pink and like baby blue and all this stuff and those are cool, but this is more my aesthetic. So um, yeah, love this sweater and it's very comfortable. It's a little bit more tight to the body than the other sweater, which has more like loose silhouette. This is also in a size two. I wanna mention the leggings are also in a size three. I don't think I mentioned that when I was just talking about them. Um, I still definitely wear a size three in the bottom. Got that ass. Okay, so the next item that I want to talk about is these amazing leggings. Did I get them from a high-end place? Were they $100? No. These were $17, I think. $17 or $15. I don't know. $16-ish from Forever 21. I know. Link below. That's, I, that's all I have to say. I mean, these are amazing. At the beginning of the video, I had mentioned Ishakti. Ishakti? What is Ishakti? So this is a Indian based company that sells just, I mean, so many types of dresses. Like, holy crap. Um, it's actually a little bit overwhelming. Um, they're constantly turning things over. So it's kind of like fast fashion where there's always something new. The thing that I love about Ishakti is that everything's customizable. So you can customize the hem for whatever length that will work for you. You can remove the pockets if you're not into them. You can, I think you can add pockets if something doesn't have pockets. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure. You can change the neckline, the sleeve length. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. So you can really tailor make something for yourself. And considering that these are customized clothing, the prices are not bad. Like this dress, I, I'm not 100% sure and I'm not going to go and go through my email just to find out the exact price, especially since this dress isn't available anymore, but I have a feeling this dress was in the $60 range. There is like squeeps on this dress because I wore it out the other night to my um, father-in-law's drag show. If you guys uh, didn't catch that, check out my Instagram. And it's like chewing, it's like seriously distracting me. Hi, Babush. Hi, Babush. Hi, oh yeah, I get that good stuff. Oh, you like them belly ribs, huh? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yum, yum. Okay, so basically what I was trying to say is that this dress is not particularly expensive um, and you know, considering that it was customized and everything like that. So I did change the length on it um, and things like that. I'm really, really, really happy with this. I like the sort of slightly puffed sleeves, although I kind of wish they were like a little more 
popped and I might see if like there's a way to do that like if there's like a YouTube tutorial on like how to make your sleeve puffier why wasn't there YouTube in the 80s? It would definitely exist if we had had YouTube in the 80s. This next item is also from Eshakti, and I believe, I don't, I don't remember if I did customization on this one. It's a chambray dress. It's very simple, very basic. Um, I rented a chambray dress from Gwenny B, and I loved it, but I sent it back. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. I like that it had pockets. I really like this. It's a really good casual kind of shirt dress type thing. Great for just kind of palling around. The one thing is I bought this like I think in September when the weather was much warmer here and like all of a sudden it's fall now and it's raining, it's cold, and this is like totally inappropriate for this time of year. But I actually have kind of a cool little way to use these summer dresses in the winter and that's the final thing that I bought today. Let me show you now. So this is my solution for wearing any kind of like summery kind of dress in the winter time and that used to wear some sort of like a mesh shirt underneath i mean it just it keeps you a little bit warmer it makes it so you can sort of expand your wardrobe for like things that would be like not really appropriate for the type of weather that you're in you can just kind of switch it up really easily by just adding one of these this one which has cute polka dots on it or like little velveteen polka dots so again i'm like all into velvet right now and then i have this one which looks like peter pan shadow um, which has like a metallic threading through it these were really inexpensive um this one was 15 dollars. so it's just a really good way to kind of incorporate some of those like warmer month outfits in with something if that's a little bit warmer for the winter time so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and Rocco. Um, I've got to I've got to play with him a little bit right now because he's going stir crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful. See you. Bye.